So to publish a course, I'm going to start off by logging into Canvas, and you'll notice on my dashboard there's a section for published courses, and then at the bottom there's a spot for unpublished courses. So if I have a course here that I'm ready to publish, um, I could click the publish button here, which is fine, but I would recommend that you open the course and use the publish button inside of that course. Um, so I'm going to publish it here and then I'm going to verify a couple things and make sure that it's publishing the things that I want it to publish. So I'm going to go ahead and click publish first to publish the main uh, part of my course. And then over here on my left sidebar, I'm going to check in a few places to make sure that the individual parts of my course that I want published are also going to be published. So I'm going to start off over here on pages. And up here at the top, I want to tell it to view all pages. And then from here, you should see all of these little green check marks next to pages that have been published. So if I want to control which things are published and which aren't, all I have to do is click on these boxes to publish or unpublish a page. All right, so this is a simple way just, again, to control which things are published. Now again, I would also double check your assignments page. So if I go into my assignments section here, um, I should be able to see things that are published and things that are not published and control which things I want to publish or not. Again, if it's unpublished, students will not be able to see it. One other quick thing about publishing assignments, you need to make sure that any assignment that you publish has the due date set to be in the future. If you publish an assignment that took place in the past and a student did not complete that assignment, uh, yet, then those students are going to be marked as missing already on that assignment. So you need to make sure that when you publish those assignments that you also adjust those dates so that the student is not being marked missing or late on assignments from last year uh, that they haven't even been assigned yet. Now I'd also double check if you use the uh, modules that you would go over here on your left as well and go under modules and make sure that your modules are published as well. So for example, here's one on unit one. Now individual assignments are published in here, but the overall module has not been published, which means students aren't gonna see these pieces here because the module is not published. So I need to make sure if I'm using modules that I both publish the module and the pages inside of it that I want students to see. And then finally, if you have any discussions that you use, um, same thing. I would be able to open those up and choose which discussions I want published or unpublished from there. Now to verify that students are seeing the information that I want them to see, I'm going to switch to my iPad. Uh, I'm going to open up the Canvas Teacher app and I should now see my course listed as a published course. Here it is. Now if I scroll down to the bottom in my list here, at the very bottom there's an option that says Student View. This will open this app as a Canvas student uh, student to show exactly what they're gonna see. So here is that course in Canvas student, and now if I tap on it, this is exactly what I'm going to see uh, as a student, or what all of my students will see in this course. So uh, if you wanted to verify assignments that show up, you can do that. If I wanted to go back and test my modules and make sure that only the modules that I want to show up show up, um, I can do that. Um, but that's the best way to make sure that students are seeing what you need them to be able to see.